All right, this afternoon we're going to get into this uh, junk oscilloscope to get a part out of it for another uh, uh, TDS 3054. So this uh, video is on how to access the inside of a TDS 3000 series uh, DPO scope. Uh, there's different versions of them, but the uh, first thing you got to do is pop this off with a 1 8 inch uh, blade uh, screwdriver, and there's one on the bottom and uh, one on the top. Just pop that out. Whoa. <laughs> Flew right at me. And then there's a little pin right here. Now you can either use a pair of needle nose to grab it and twist them and pull it, or a pair of side cutters. I prefer the side cutters. They're easier. Just don't pinch them. Bring it out all the way. Then you rotate it to the back, and this will rotate with it. And you wiggle it, and uh, it should come out. It's sometimes they're a little finicky but boom there it is and uh, there's the uh, oh, hold on there's a little pin thing right there and the other side is pretty much the same I already got this one opened up okay once you get the pin out on the uh, the right side uh, you rotate this up and the internal will go with it if it doesn't go with it, then it's probably already in the off position. That's provided this pin's been pulled. Then what you do is you wiggle this backwards and forwards, and it will uh, it'll come out. There it goes. So that's how you get that. Other side off here. There we go. And then on the back, there is a, uh, a torque 15 here. Stick your torque tip in there and open it up. Ta -da. Okay, I forgot you have to pull this cover off <laughs> and then it'll come up. Bink. There we go. There's only four things you got this little cover, you got the torque T15, and then you got the two handles on each side. That's the only thing holding, then you have access to the back. Thanks for watching. Talk with you all later. Bye.